Um, Mr. Simpson, I do notice that you are filming uh, this council meeting and the speakers. Um, I do need to highlight to you that you are required to get the permission of the, those who, whom you are filming before broadcasting. No, you don't. Under the law, one party needs to be party to that, and this is considered a public place in a public meeting. There's no, no expectation of privacy in a public place. Mr. Simpson, you have to, um, and under our standing orders, you have to ask permission if you can um, film. Then, then I shall stop filming because it, this represents the lack of transparency of this council. I'm willing to be we shown. We are still in a public. Um, we are still in a public forum. The public. The word public. is public. That you don't understand Thank the meaning of public. Simpson, could you please, um, uh, elected members, are you comfortable to being filmed? G'day, welcome back to the channel. What you've just seen will probably not surprise many of you. This is our council at work. Our council, the council that tries to cover up what it does. And when I went to the meeting yesterday to film proceedings and I gave my presentation on why they should be, if not preserving the tower, selling it to me for a dollar rather than spending thousands to have it demolished. Uh, yeah, obviously they didn't want the spotlight of public scrutiny on their actions. And it's even wor it's worrying for another reason. Now, <laughs> They, you notice that the, the chief executive officer asked the elected members whether they were prepared to appear on camera, which is kind of worrying because this is the same council that has just approved a six figure sum for cameras and streaming uh, equipment. So they apparently they approved that before they'd established whether the councillors were willing to go on camera. Put the cart before the horse. It doesn't sound like the actions of a sensible council, does it? You don't spend the money and then ask whether it was a good move. You don't buy all the camera equipment and then ask the councillors, do you mind if we put cameras in? <laughs> but that's the way they work. That's just an example of how ludicrous this council is and how it throws money around like water and doesn't worry about the effects. There's always more money. I mean, people like me who pay property taxes, we've got bottomless pockets. We'll just go and pick those pockets a bit, bit more deeply. And of course, they have put the local taxes up quite significantly this year. They're going to go up again next year because they keep wasting so much money. But that's not the subject of this video. I went to that meeting yesterday to present my case. And this is just a, a taste of the reception I got. And I came back and I, I made a video, made a video about that. But I can't publish that video for a number of reasons. Um, I was just too angry, frustrated uh, about the situation. So it was more of an opinion piece than an evidence based report. And I, I don't want to when it's something this important, I want to present you with facts, the evidence, the truth, not my opinions, not my, my anger, my frustration. So I'm stepping back a bit. It's going to take a little bit of time to cool down because honestly, this, I haven't been this cross and this angry for a long, long time. I'm going to step back. I'm going to cool down and I'm going to get all my ducks in a row. I'm going to produce a documentary style video which just presents the facts. I'm going back a few years, quite a few years. I'm dredging up all the things this crowd has done all the times they've wasted, blatantly wasted public money, all the, what in my opinion are dodgy deals that have been done and ask yourself, why would they spend huge amounts of money hiring professional services and consultants when people like myself are prepared to do the same job to a higher standard for free? Why would you spend all that money? What is the, what is the benefit to the people authorizing the expenditures to doing that instead of saving money for the local rate payers, the local people who pay property taxes. Wouldn't you want to save their money? Why would you spend it when you don't need to? Well, we'll look into that. I'm not making any suggestions as to why that might be, but we'll look at the facts and you can draw your own conclusions. There's a lot of stuff will be uncovered. Now, of course, it's not going to distract me from my primary role, which is making entertaining videos for you people about model aircraft. However, um, not to let the cat out of the bag too much, I don't know that the tower will feature in many future videos. And we know this tower is a, is a hugely valuable asset to the model flying community around the world. It is something that connects tens, hundreds of thousands of model flyers to this little rural community here in New Zealand. That tower is, a, is, a, is an icon of that. And, and it serves a wonderful role in bringing people to this district. Now, this local council here, they have just, uh, they're spending half a million dollars of, of locals' money extracted by property taxes, half a million dollars on 
rebranding the district and one of the stated goals of that rebranding is to attract visitors. <laughs> Yet this tower already does that and it doesn't cost them a cent. So the tower, they see it as worthless. They, they ascribe no worth to this tower. So I thought I would offer them a dollar. If it's worthless and it's going to cost thousands to pull down, why not sell it to me for one dollar? I will then invest my own time, my own effort, my own money in restoring this tower to a safe and pristine condition. So it becomes a credit to the community that we'd be proud of the structure and maybe we can use it for certain things. So you'd think the council would jump at the opportunity to turn a liability into something they can get rid of, no more of a problem, no more of a blot on their books. Well, when you watch the full video, you'll see what happened and you'll see why I'm so frustrated and angry today. Um, this, uh, as I will have to wait and see what happens there, but I wanted to give you a heads up. A lot of people have been asking what happened, what happened? Well, you can see what happened. You see the warmth in which I was received and uh, honestly, honestly, you can see now why I've decided I, I, I give up on trying to, to, to do the things I've been doing in terms of promoting this district because these people, it's not, I don't ask for recognition. I don't ask for pay, a payment. I don't ask for any accolades. I just ask for them to get out of my way. Let me do this at my own cost. But they won't even do that. Why not? Why would they rather spend millions of dollars than to accept the kind of assistance which I've proven? I, you know, I look at my track record. I say, you know, over 100 million views on this channel. This town is now recognized on the global stage as a result of this channel. But this council refuses to acknowledge in any way that what I do or the tower or anything like that has any value. They would rather go out and spend half a million dollars on a race-based rebranding. Yeah, race-based, I kid you not. They're using race as the basis of their new rebranding, which apparently is going to attract visitors, it's going to attract investment, it's going to uh, do, do so much to attract job, create jobs by branding us on the basis of race. Do they not know this is the 21st century? You don't do race-based branding. It's what I'm dealing with, folks. You haven't even seen the, the, the smallest bit of this yet. Uh, I, now that I'm not, having, not focusing on promoting this district because I'm just bashing my head against the wall, I'm going to show everybody what goes on behind those walls, even though they don't want cameras in there. We're going to see what really happens at the South Waikato District Council, what's been happening over the years. It's going to be a real bumpy ride for some people. And if you like this kind of entertainment, you better subscribe. But hey, all the usual stuff still coming. Plenty of fun at the airfield. But that's unless they kick us off because they're so pissed off with me. It's happened before. <laughs> See what happens this time. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I need to cheer myself up. Um, if there's a break in the weather, I may go flying. I may post a flying video. You never know. So go to the comments. Tell me what you think. Were you surprised by that response? Were you surprised? Did you expect that they'd probably do this? That uh, they would uh, try and bully me? It was bullying. It was bullying because the, the, the new chief executive, the woman on the right, she claimed I couldn't put videos up on broadcast without getting the permission of the people I was filming, which is totally untrue. No expectation of privacy in a public place. And by very definition, a public meeting turns any venue into a public place. Sorry, I don't, I'm not someone who takes kindly to being bullied. And my response, well, I don't think they'll be pleased with it, but that's their choice. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.